Now we are going to cover a very important concept of select statement that is joins. It is very common that we may want to get the data from multiple tables. For example, I want to get the employee name along with the department name. Maybe I too want to get the employee name and the location on which he is working. So the location details, the department details and the employee details must be residing in the different tables. So for such scenarios, we will go for the joins as it is used to get the data from multiple tables. Make sure whenever you are joining two tables, there must be one common field in them because one common field would be required in order to join the tables. If you don't have that, you will not be able to join the table. On the basis of the data retrieval, we can classify the joins in the three varieties that is the inner join, outer join and self join. In the inner join, whenever you will be making a join, by default it is inner join. In the inner join, only the common records from both the tables will be re received. For example, if in departments we have a department in which there is no employee working, so that particular department name will not be there in the output when we will be working with the inner join. So, when we want to get all the data from one table, for example, there may be a scenario that I want to get all the department names and if there are some employees working in those department, I want to get the employee names as well. But I want to get all the department names, whether there are employees or not. So in that situation, we will go for the outer join. Outer join itself is classified into three parts. That is the left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. So we will discuss about these three joins in the practical just now. All right, so let's start practical and, do, and start doing the inner join and outer join and then we will discuss with the self join later. So here we can see there are two tables, TBL departments and TBL employees in which the TBL departments containing the list of all the departments while in TBL employees, you can see all the records of employees. Now, if I want to retrieve the data from these two tables or from multiple tables, the first thing that we require is a common field. So here you can observe like department is the field in the TBL employees which is containing the list of all the departments like someone is de working in department 60 or 20 or 10, 40, 30, 50, whichever, right? But it is nothing but a department ID. And you can find that department ID here itself. So it doesn't matter whether the column names are same or not, the data should be relevant. And in this particular table, you can find the name of all the departments. So let's consider a scenario. If I want to get the name of employee and department name together in an output, how can I do that? Obviously, I will do it with the join. So let's see a common syntax here. So what I want to search is the first name of employee and the department name that is DPT name. So first is in this particular table while the second one is in this table. So uh, select first name comma department name from TBL employees comma TBL departments. All right. Now there should be some condition because if you will execute this one, it will form a Cartesian product. Cartesian product means all the employee of this table will be joined with all the departments. All right. So there will be N into M number of records. Like if there are 21 records and there are eight records, so it will be 21 into eight records. All right. But I want to go logical. I want to join the records only when the department of TBL employees field is equal to the DPT field. Since the column names are different, I can directly write like where department is equal to DPT ID. So column names are not case sensitive again. So you can see I can get the relevant data where all the employee names are mentioned with all the department names. But this may not be a good practice because in some situations you will find like the t column names of both the tables are same. So in that particular situation, what I do is 
tbl underscore employees dot department is equal to tbl underscore departments dot department id all right so this is how you can write a query by prefixing the table name it will make it even clear now if the table names are big enough like this one you can also alias the tables all right like if you want you can what you can do is tbl employees e and tbl departments d now it is what this is the aliasing the table now you can simply say e dot department where e is nothing but tbl employees and d dot dpt id d is nothing but the tbl department and it is optional to put it here but again if you are c searching for a number of columns and you want some clarity like which column is coming from which particular table you can put the prefix right here as well so here if i will execute this you will find there is no change in the output i can also write this particular query by using a join keyword where I'll replace the comma and I'll put a join keyword and write here replacing where with this on clause. So this is another way to write the same query and again when I will execute you will not find any difference in this particular output. There are still 20 rows where each employee is uh, written along with their department name. When I will mention join that simply means it is the inner join. As we have already discussed, like in inner join, you will get all the common records, means employees that have a department and departments which have the employees. If in the table there is any employee who is not assigned to any department or is there a, if there is any department in which there is no employee, that will not come here. Alright, so by default this is what? This is the inner join even if I'll write the inner join it will not give me any difference the output will still be same but let's execute these two queries again to find something like I have a department 70 here which is of operations and you will not find like any employee is working in that department 70 similarly I have an employee called Raj last name null and you can see this is not in any department alright so basically operations doesn't have an employee and Raj doesn't have a department and in this particular query you can clearly see in this output neither you will get you will only get one Raj alright you will not get the another one and you will not get the operations as well so now what I will do I will put this in the outer query as we have discussed the uh, in outer query any one of the table will show all of its records for example as here you can see the employees table is mentioned before the join name and departments table is mentioned after the join so this before table will be called the left table and this will be the right table so as soon as I will put the outer join keyword here now it will make a difference right like which type of outer join is that I need to specify if I say it is a left outer join that means it is going to show all the records from the left table and which is the left table as I just said TBL employees so I will execute this and now you can see 21 records are there now you can see there are two Raj one is in engineering and other one is null similarly if I will say right outer join and will execute this again you can see at last I'm getting something called operations in which there is no employee alright so it's quite simple left outer join right outer join and similarly there is something called full outer join inside the full outer join you will get both the things right like Raj without a department and operations without the employee so this is how you can start working with the joins alright 
So as you have already seen the implementation of inner and outer join, let's discuss about the self join. Basically self join is a join where a table is getting joined with itself, right? Means you have to divide and you have to split the data of one table logically into two parts. For example, I have an employees table in which I have the employee ID and the manager ID as well. So basically managers are also employees but if we want we can internally classify the level of the employees as we can classify them as the manager and worker. But manager details and worker details both are in the same employees table. So let's see practically how can we go for the self join. So as here you can see I have taken a very small table for implementing the self join as here I have three columns like EMP ID, EMP name and MGR ID. So the manager will definitely be an employee here. So as you can see 101 and 102 are the couple of employees who doesn't have any uh, manager but if I'll talk about 103, 104, 101 is the manager. So who is 101? Definitely I'll have to go for the EMP ID and here I can see that 101 is no, no one but the A. So I can simply say like D is the worker and is working under A as A is the manager of all these employees where 101 is mentioned. Similarly for 102 B is the manager like for F and G and similarly for H I have 103 who is C. Now, if I want to put the name of manager along with his worker, I need to implement the self-join. Let's see how can I do that. So for implementing that, what I'll do is, since EMP name is the single column which is uh, representing the manager as well as the worker name, so I'll have to search it for a couple of times like uh, EMP name, comma EMP name from TBL EMP alright now I will have to make it couple of times like first time I will represent it as the worker while after the join I will again represent the same name but with a different alias let's say manager so what does it mean basically I am representing the same table as the different ones here the first one is the worker table with the same structure of TBL EMP and second one is the manager table which are having the same structure of the TBL EMP. So if I want to make this as the manager name what I will do is I will say manager oh sorry manager dot EMP name comma worker dot EMP name. So now it is clear and uh, to make the output clear let's pass the alias as manager and here I will say as worker alright now how will I find the manager name of a particular worker if I will say C is a worker then what is there C the manager ID of C is equal to the employee ID of A I can also say the manager ID of any worker will be equal to the employee ID of any manager and this is the way we are finding the data so that is what we will write here the worker dot manager ID is equal to manager dot EMP ID and now if I will execute this query I will get the desired result as A is the manager you can see C, D, E are working under A F and G are working under B and H is working under C so this is how you can implement the self join as self join is not a keyword you will just use the join operator here as well like the earlier joins but make sure that you are using the same table 